Hi everybody, welcome to another Carrera tutorial. I'm Crybman. And what we're going to do this time through is we're going to finish up our tutorial. Um, now you remember last time we had uh, a smattering of buildings around uh, making it look like a small city. And one of the secrets to uh, making it city-like is to not have completely um, square blocks. Uh, just FYI, we're going to skip past this part of uh, what a city looks like, but square blocks equal non-realism. Just so you know, they look square. They look square when you're on them, but if you look back from them, they're not. Um, so let's go ahead and jump in here and uh, kind of move things around a little bit. Keep this out so that I can maneuver my stuff. Um, so we have our city blocks here, and uh, what we want to do is we want to make textures for them. So let's go ahead and do that. First of all, before we do, let's uh, uh, bu -bu 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 -bu, uh, merge coplanar faces, and that's going to give us nice squares. We want less polygons while we're manipulating the polygons. That's a that's a kind of a neat little modeling trick uh, or you know, thing to follow. So. Um, we got our guys here, and let's go ahead and uh, loop over here. Let's create another texture, new shading domain. We'll call that texture one's fine for what this is. Texture one, this is going to be loop, new shading domain, texture two, that's fine. And click. And shift click. Let's loop that. New shading domain. Sorry about the how tedious this is, but <laughs> it's part of the process. Uh, click there. Loop. Shading domain. It's going to be texture four. This is almost over. Loop. New shading domain, texture 5. And let's just go ahead and cut it off right there. Now let's see uh, how everything looks. Let's put our vertex object out here. We lose the replicator and let's just zoom in on this guy and deal with it from that air, from that uh, perspective. Now since we made uh, Five, sh five different domains. Let's go ahead and make uh, five new master shaders. And you can name them if you want to, but we're going to go ahead and try and make that make this go kind of quick. <clears throat> now for our first shader, let's go ahead and do color, or not co uh, go to the color channel and go to the pattern. Come on, baby. Wires. And let's bump our horizontal count up a little bit. Lose some of the vertical count. Yeah, that's fine. Widen it there, or no, lessen it there. Keep it wide in the middle. And coat. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and drop it on one of our. Oh. Let's go ahead and drop it on one of our uh, objects. Let's go ahead and. Turn this on so we can see what's going on here. And you see how the see how it's been mapped uh, around around this building right here. Uh, that's unacceptable. We don't like that. And uh, we're going to go ahead and do something about it. Let's go ahead and double click this. Make sure everything's selected. Actually, that you don't even have to do that. I don't, well, yeah. Since this is a tutorial, I might as well give you the right information. Uh, it's probably better just to make this uh, to map this as a box because it comes in as spherical um, automatically it's mapped spherically when you're making something in the vertex modeler let's go ahead and uh, change this up box face full box is fine because it makes our texture look like we want it to look now you can you can uh, you can make this a little bit differently you can make it a basis for a light uh, for a daytime scene and a nighttime scene 
uh, throw some bricks on it. You know, it, it, the better you are with your uh, with your um, uh, with your shaders, dang it, um, the better results you're going to have with this. Now, there's a there's a whole bunch of tricks you can do here too. Let's go ahead and uh, grab this. Come on, baby. Right, let's just go ahead and do it like this. Um, let's go ahead and uh, invert the color on the wires here. I'm going to show you a little inversion trick. Um, operators, curve filter. Let's go ahead and push curve filter. Let's just turn this. Invert the direction of this right here and you get an inverse color right there and it's not going to display but if we render it you'll see that um, the windows are dark and the outlines are white and if you multiply them by um, cement or steel uh, your effects going to be a lot better um, something else you can do while we're in here, while we're messing with this, is let's go ahead and copy this. And where are we at? Turn this up. That's what I thought. It makes the white reflective too. Let's go ahead and I copied that top part. Let's go ahead and paste it here. Oh, it still did it, didn't it? Copy. Paste. There we go. Uh, your light color, I guess, in Carrera. Um, is what the is uh, what is what the shader will map on. So um, you have a little bit of a reflective surface right there, and there's a whole bunch of little tricks you can do um, to kind of make it better. Um, and I'll show you a couple of those on the next tutorial. Um, that's it for this part of the tutorial. I'm Kripe Man, and I'll talk to you again later. Bye.